to News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader, with Kevin Hunsberger, Emily Eddington, and Weather Specialist Nick Bissellar. Here it is, guys. It's 1.30 in the morning. It's Friday, and I'm ready for the weekend, okay. baby. Here we are, straight out of bed. This is, you know, where I start to think, okay, some kind of transformation's got to happen now. My breakfast every morning is usually one of these EAS Advantage uh, protein shakes. It's pretty low in calories and sugar. And I can't forget to turn on the coffee maker because uh, I always take some with me to work so I can drink it there and get kind of perked up. Then I have to turn on ABC World News now because I just, I'm that type of person, I need to have something going in the background. This is kind of like the my morning news. You want, does anybody out there watch this? See this in, newscast in the middle of the night? It's actually pretty good. Well, I'm now in my makeup area. Um, shaking up some foundation getting getting my makeup on for the day it's you know about a quarter till two like people do i've been asked you know what what tyler does while i'm getting ready and you know he just kind of gets up with me and drinks some coffee and you know just starts his day early as well Okay, that was a joke. <laughs> he actually, um, you know, is sleeping right now. Um, we're fortunate to have an extra room here where I can, you know, I basically have my closet and my makeup and everything. And I'm just able to use it to get ready in the morning and not really disrupt him. I'm doing the all-important under-eye concealer here. I'm using my Bobbi Brown corrector right now in Bisque. It's like a peachy color. And I put that down as kind of a base for circles. And then uh, lately I've been just taking my Dream Mousse concealer in light 4 to 5. And then it's a little bit lighter, has a little different texture. And I kind of use that to really do away with the circle. And then I set it with a little bit of yellow toned loose powder. Oh, about uh, 20 minutes later there, we've now got a face of makeup on. Fluffing <laughs> my hair. So I shower the night before, so that way it cuts out a lot of time in the morning. Uh, then for today, I'm just gonna wear my hair down, kind of curl it a little bit. Ooh, just touched it. That'll wake you up. Here is today's outfit. You can see that cardigan, the blue shirt, jeans, and my boots. I like wearing my boots with these kind of jeans. Here's the part where I actually go and I say goodbye to Tyler. Um, I kind of just tap him and say, you know, I'm leaving, and he pretty much is half asleep, so good stuff. Bye. Bye-bye. So I've got my makeup bag, my coffee, my lunch, and my purse slash bag here, and we're ready to head out the door. There's the moon at about 3 a.m. Heading to work. I actually read somewhere that it helps you as a news anchor to warm up your voice before you do the news. I will sing sometimes along with the radio on my way to work just to kind of get my voice uh, ready. I can tell a difference if I'm not talking much before the newscast and then I go on and start reading. My voice uh, just doesn't have a very good tone to it. I'm probably the only one that can tell the difference, but you'll notice we hit a lot of green lights. <laughs> There's just, I'm the only car on the road pretty much, so yay. Music. It's 3.20 in the morning, baby, and it's Friday. Woohoo! Did I mention songs that uh, you don't hear a lot during the daytime? All the randomness comes out at night, I tell you. We're getting close to the station now. Yay! Bright lights. <laughs> First stop at the station is the makeup area where I leave my stuff. Our newsroom. This is Kevin. 
Good day, YouTube. I would have shot this last or a week from now when Screech was going to be here. But oh, you could shoot it Kevin for him too. <laughs> wasn't going to be here because Kevin's going to Mexico. So I won out over Screech. I'm flattered. Wow. Yep. <laughs> oh, hello, YouTube. My name is Michael. I uh, produce morning show. That's it. Cool video camera. I like it. It's very little, isn't it? it? Is. Very, very compact. compact. Very compact. Kings. This is the wallpaper on my computer. It's a man holding a cat That's fake. the size of a dog. That is fake. I believe this may be real. If you know, let me know. At this point, I look at the scripts we have, and we have three half hours of news for a total of 1.5 hours. It's all just <laughs> kind of split up, and you click a box. And you get a script. Hey everybody, I'm Ross, uh, associate producer here on The Morning Show, as well as NASCAR super fan. Who is doing a segment today? Yes, who's doing a segment today. About? Uh, NASCAR. Specifically? Oh, specifically. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, previewing this weekend's race at Atlanta, uh, fire safety for the drivers. Oh, fun. You Are you going to bring more equipment for us to wear? I have a fire suit today, but I, I won't fit in it, But because my uncle's and he's smaller than me. So Can I fit in it? Probably. Awesome. What is Every morning, this health minute called, Kev? You know? Are they the official sponsor of the NASCAR Superfan? No, but I, I am looking for a sponsor. No, <laughs> Scott, I'm associate producer, and I run studio cameras. And you're being creeped on right now. We call this creeping when you peer over the top of your computer and only the eyes can be seen. <laughs> Very creepy. Yes. John, what's yes. up? What is up, Emily? How's it hanging? Will you say hi to YouTube? This is John, our director. Hello, YouTube. I see you're How's sporting some Argyle today. I didn't wear it on Wednesday, so I figured I'd wear it today. Make up for it. So we do vests on Tuesday, Argyle on Wednesday. This is a rule that Emily made. Bohawks uh, yeah. Bo Bo and Casual Friday, although I don't see anyone doing Casual. I can faux hawk it. I did my faux hawk it. Faux hawk it, dude. How do you faux hawk it? I just, you know, don't chaw for a week and just <laughs> <laughs> crunch it all together. Kevin's Stand wearing salmon. It is, it is quite salmon. It's animated and doing stuff, so if you want to use Kevin is our one, fearless yeah. leader. Ah! Ah! Oh, In case I, I didn't give today. a very good look at the newsroom before, but... That's what the computers yes. look like, and our newsroom opens right into the studio, so you'll see that once the actual lights come on. The light, Emily, know that. Hi, Aaron. Ooh! What's up, Emily? What's uh, on your face there? This is my bad guy, my villain scar. That I got from Trying sleeping last to night. See it? I'm not sure if the camera can get it. Yeah, it's probably healing. From the <laughs> from the pillow, yep. a hard, a good hard Wolverine. sleep. Right. Good. Yeah, it'll heal up. Will you introduce yourself to everyone on YouTube? Oh, this is for YouTube. Okay. Yes. Uh, my name is Aaron Thompson. I'm an associate producer here at Channel Three. Uh, you know, I'm one of the. I guess I'm a gopher. Go for this. <laughs> I go for that. Do a. You have to do the gopher or chipmunk. Do, uh, <laughs> he does voices. Yes, I can do. Uh, well, I do. Can you do the rest do of it in too. Russian, or Russian accent? I shall do the rest of this commentary in Russian. I do what I need me to do around. Uh, right now, I'm getting ready to edit some video. Okay. Go back in the final cut, edit Bay Area, edit some stuff. I like to do national headlines. That is, that is habit for me now. Get the stuff from Mike, producer Mike here. Cut the video, send it to Fork. I fork it up. <laughs> then I like to do CG after that. <laughs> after that, you know, whatever happens, right? Uh, somebody's that. creeping on you. You also like to creep. I like to creep occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> on this side. And introduce yourself, what you do. I am the morning weather anchor, and uh, I've made the forecast, and now I'm just trying to listen to these two. Uh, it gets pretty pretty funny in here in the morning. That's your area? That's yep. your region? It's, we call it the weather cave because they, they hide me from the people in the weather, uh, in the newsroom because they don't like me. Oh, I'm just getting the studio ready for the show here, so we got to get all of our plasmas turned on. And 
We got some new plasmas. Yes, yeah, for new plasmas. All three new plasmas. So you can see we'll get to those eventually. Getting logged onto the computer here so our anchors can have their teleprompter. Which is very necessary. God forbid you all memorize the whole shell. Well, that'd be good. <laughs> so these are our teleprompters. We've got to turn these on. Large cameras in the studio here. Very large compared to my little, little guy. More new plasmas. Clint's prompter when he's on the wall. More Though Clint does not. You, he Clint sees himself. Yes, he does not read from a script like everyone else. I'm a diva. I have to see myself in the screen. See himself. And now we get the lights. <laughs> Hi, Clint. Hi. Okay, this here's is, the... This is one of our two light boards. We keep, That's back here behind the weather center. We just flip up this switch. And this turns on part of the lights in the studio. Okay. As you can see. And then we got to go back here way behind the weather center. <laughs> This is where our other electric board is. Everything marked with an N we have to turn on for the studio. It's a lot of switches, Ross. Yes, it is. But it makes it where they can see you better. Sweet. So That's let's see what the finished uh, lighting looks like. The weather center, which actually is like a functional area because work is actually done back here but then the lights come on and it's like a studio yes. setting more Goes from office to studio. weather wall you'll see more of that later um the desk and, then and we the have to set check and make sure none of them are out for that scott and i would have to change which would involve getting on a ladder yes so you can see all the lights way up high if you're sitting on the desk and you're looking up at the lights it's really bright so if I've mentioned like doing your makeup a little differently when you're under these lights, that is definitely the case. Okay, it's now 5.15. We've got about 15 minutes before uh, the news goes on. Everybody's kind of wrapping things up, getting last minute pieces of video edited, right Ross? Doing last minute research for racing segments. Last minute research. Um, this is when I usually come over here and I once these lights come on, which kind of simulate uh, what it's like out on the set, you kind of realize, okay, I need more bronzer because my face looks pale, or you know, something. You you figure out sort of what changes you need to make and what makes this setting so different for makeup than others are. So um, even though I've done my makeup at home overall, I usually see you know what I need to do, and. Um, it takes, you know, about 10 minutes to touch some things up, and then you're ready to go. I need Mic some check. tips from Emily. Mic check, one, two, three. Okay, here is uh, Kevin putting I'm his makeup on. I'm just very quick, uh, cover, Got some girl, cover girl, basic. We I, are going on the air in less than a minute. 45 no. seconds. <laughs> Once we go in HD, maybe Kevin will let me be his makeup artist. I absolutely will. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, we are on Cover It Live this morning and invite you to join us on our chat. It is an open forum to discuss stories in the news. We fire it up weekdays at 5.30 a.m. Just click the icon on the front page of WSILTV.com. Up next, students in Hardin County rally behind a girl with cancer. And how marriage can keep you healthy. You're watching News 3 this morning. This is our stack of scripts for the hour and a half. They've held several fundraisers, including a t-shirt sale, benefit dinner, and basketball game. We'll have more on the Cougar Outreach Program tonight in our Unsung Hero segment on News 3 at 6 o'clock. First now, let's go to Clint over in the Weather Center with a look at today's forecast. Good morning, Clint. And good morning. It is finally Friday and more nice weather in the forecast. Temperatures actually a little cooler than but with the sunshine in the forecast, once again, temperatures will be on the rise. See that little push of warm air off uh, in the southern plains? That push of warm air eventually rolls in here by the time we hit Sunday and Monday. We are looking at that high eventually pushing off to the east. We'll get that south flow, and temperatures will jump up a little warmer than normal, thinking uh, mid to upper 50s. Call Saturday, mostly sunny. Clouds increasing late in the evening. I'm going to tweet from the news desk because I'm a rebel like that. Got the iPhone. Look, here's an Emily Got the tweet. Laptop. What does the tweet say? At work taping a behind the scenes video 
for my YouTube channel. And that's what you're doing. That is exactly what I'm doing. See, I don't lie with my tweets. I'm doing exactly what I say I am. Stand by. Welcome back. Retail sales and manufacturing are both showing positive growth. But unemployment continues to be the issue, slowing down economic recovery. That and other business news in today's State of the Economy report. The economy is showing some strength as retail sales surged and factory orders... Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. We are looking at lots of sunshine, not only on your Friday, but also on Saturday. The temperatures will also be warming up. Not a bad way to kick off the weekend. Let's take a look at your forecast right now. Starting outside the station here in Carterville. Going back to the control room. See what's going on there. So 25 degrees currently. Very calm winds. Hey, This is the control room, everyone. Are you going to give Clint a time cue? I'll get that on here. Oh, here. See, I'm actually doing work. You're timing him. Hold on one second. 30 seconds. See? 32 seconds on there. Good job. That is a look at your forecast. Time now for that Friday morning sports report. It happened again to the SIU men's basketball. So I'm a director, technical director, and audio operator at one. I do everything. You're in charge of making sure that the different shots get lined up for the for the newscast, and you basically pick which ones show up at a certain time. Would that be a good description? That's part of it. Good Friday morning, and thanks for joining us for another half hour of news and weather. Including some advice for job seekers, how you should change up your strategy as you look for work in today's economy. First, though, we'll check in with Clint Misselhorn with a look at today's forecast, Clint. Nice weather. That's really all we have to say. Yesterday on Facebook, I just said sunshine, and everyone just started commenting, yay, happy, like, like, like. like. Yes, that's kind of <laughs> the way it is going to be today as well. More sunshine, but warmer temperatures. Saturday, more sunshine, warmer temperatures. Sweet. Yeah, no complaints. <laughs> Let's take a look outside right now as uh, we move in on our tower cam at Harrisburg. A man who was nearly hit by a light rail train in Phoenix, Arizona, owes his life to two assistants with the police department there. Surveillance video from the train station shows the man who appears to be intoxicated. He fell off the light rail platform and onto the tracks Tuesday night. The two police assistants rushed to help him as they flagged down the train and police say the train driver saw the men and pulled the emergency brake just in time. No one was injured. Talk about serve and protect, man. Those Absolutely. guys. The train uh, driver, the two police officers, just on their game. Yeah. I mean, what hey. <laughs> Every guy will just lean in. We can't see you because there's not a wide angle on this. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, snap. I do, I do wear the extensions from vision. time to time, but they're not any longer than my hair is now, so, but they do add a little. Just clip it around your neck so Can I wear them someday? Yeah. You just clip them right in. They just look like on. a mullet. Yeah, look good. Mullet look. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Mullet Monday. Mullet Monday. Mullet Monday. Mullet Friday. Friday. I think we had a great show today. Any other feedback? John? Um, actually, I do have some uh, legitimate Kevin feedback. Um, I think I probably would have, instead of putting the uh, SIC layoffs okay. in the news now, since that was a new story from last night at 10 and only ran at 10, I probably would have, or I would have added the Vosot to the, the news now, I guess. Okay. I would have right. just used Okay, the, now that the I, newscast I is all done, it, uh, uh, we work on cut-ins. So those are little nervous. updates that you see, like, throughout Good Morning America or the Today Show when you see the local news station cut in with news and weather. Uh, that's what we do. So it only lasts a couple minutes, so we usually go through a few different local stories that we did throughout the newscast. And so right now I'm just kind of sitting here um, going through that, writing up a promo that will run throughout the weekend, kind of teasing what we have coming up on Monday. And also... Also, um, putting some of the stories that we did online. So that's what's going on now. And then for the rest of my shift past this, um, it's usually reporting, doing some kind of story, whether that means going out and doing a story or just working on something in-house that will um, eventually air. You know, it's just whatever, whatever is needed, that's what we do. All right, everyone. I'm leaving now. It is getting to be about noon now. I don't know if you can see that on my clock. But um, I have this little uh, Bluetooth device right up here. 
that you may be able to see. Um, and that allows me to talk on the phone hands-free. And so this is the point in my day where I usually give my mom a call. <laughs> so we're just going to get her on the phone and see what's going on. Did you say call mom? Yes. Calling. I kind of have to yell at the thing sometimes to pick, to pick up my voice. It's not the most sensitive thing ever, but it's ringing. Hello? Mom, hi. Damn. It's Friday. I know. And guess what, Mom? No, I'm not going to guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm recording this for a YouTube video. You're recording this for a YouTube video? Yeah, all day. You never know what I might say. I know, this is real life, people. Uh, yeah, I've been recording my day all day just yeah. like so people I'm could see. Now. So people could see behind the scenes of the newscast and stuff. And yeah. so. Um, I thought, you know, I just go through and do what I do on a typical day, and I usually call you at this time, right? That's right, you do. I'm glad that uh, Emily's uh, there for you and uh, that you're there for her, and I think she appreciates every one of you. I certainly do. <laughs> so much everyone for tuning in for this video. I am back home now. Um, it's Friday. I'm ready for the weekend and um, thank you so much for watching and thanks to all of my co-workers who allowed me to bring my little camera in and do something for my channel here. I'm really glad that people who watch my videos regularly were interested in seeing this. There's actually quite a large number of viewers that I have that have approached me with comments about TV news or journalism in some aspect and how do I prepare and what sorts of things do I need to do. Um, I have done videos in the past answering some of those questions, but I think probably one of the mo most informative things you'll watch is just kind of the real behind the scenes uh, stuff that you got to see in this video. Informative, funny, I don't know, <laughs> uh, but uh, I really take my job seriously. It's very important to me. I really enjoy all the people that I work with and I think that probably shows in, in the work that we put together as a whole, the, the morning show crew. So thank you so much for following me through my day and hopefully I'll do some more of these videos kind of randomly in there if there's something cool going on at work that I know of or I don't know, maybe sometimes it's the days where nothing's going on that some really funny stuff happens. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.